How does mass bend spacetime? I'm going to need a three minute video for this one. This gets complicated. It all has to do with time dilation. I've talked about relativity before on this channel, but basically time dilation occurs when you get close to the speed of light. As you get closer to the speed of light, time slows down. Another thing that happens as you get closer to the speed of light is your mass increases. Are you a fan of comics? Have you heard of the Flash's infinite mass punch? That's why he could do it. He moves really fast and his mass increases. Now in short, these things are linked. Go closer to the speed of light, time slows down. Go closer to the speed of light, mass increases. Mass increases, time slows down. They're all linked. So when you are close to a big source of mass, your time slows down. And we actually see this because clocks that run on Earth's surface run slower than clocks that run in orbit. We actually have to adjust for that for global positioning satellites. Now, what that means is that you are experiencing different rates of time for different parts of your body. In fact, every object is experiencing different rates of time for different parts of its atoms. Things that are further away from a source of mass will move quicker through time than things that are close. So let's assume that this direction, this horizontal direction on the screen is time, and this is space. And here you have my finger. The bottom of my finger is closer to the Earth's surface, so it's moving slower through time. The top is further away, so it's moving faster through time. And since this is the direction that time is flowing, then that means that the top of my finger is going to want to go faster than the bottom of my finger in this direction. Think of it like one set of wheels on a car moving quicker than another set of wheels on a car. And what happens when that happens? Well, the car turns. The same thing happens with my finger. If the top were moving quicker than the bottom, it would curve this way. And if you notice, it is curving downward toward the mass. And that is gravity. Even though it's only a very, very, very slight difference in time dilation, that time dilation is effectively always making you curve toward a source of mass. And that is what causes mass to bend spacetime, or what we know as gravity.